And so we complete our escape from Impel Down, but not without a sacrifice from Bon Clay himself. I refuse to believe he's dead, quite frankly. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have episodes 453 and 454 of our One Piece watch through today. And I guess our next mission is just get to Marine Ford. There's not really any other goal in sight aside from Rescue Ace. I'm excited to see what's in store. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and let's hop into it. You know, when that piano hits, it hits different. God dang, Jinbei's a unit. Mugiwara. Yeah, especially after everything that went down, I impel down. True. <laughs> they just go from the tippity top to the tippity top. Oh my gosh! It's Nami's island! Kind of! Wetheria. That's apt. We're gonna learn a little bit more. I need to check in with everybody. Especially now knowing that where Sanji is is Ivan's homeland. That is just amazing. This is the old man, bro. Ay, 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 ay. She's like, she's like crying. He has a little cloud balloon! He's suffocating her with it! Oh, candy. I think she's dying, sir. No, she's actually dying. <laughs> Wait, the island itself, like, in the sky is floating there? Oh, shoot! Yeah, how long will it take? Like, a week? Can he not calculate it? Oh, so it's all dependent. 200 meters. That's not very far. <laughs> How does he even control the direction of it? Yeah, it's like guaranteed if she stays there. Gotta get back to the crew, even though all of them are separated. What does he mean running out of research expenses? Like he can drop the island? What? There is an elevator! Wait, how low does it go? What if that giant elevator like runs into something? What is this? Oh, wait, it's like a giant ball at the bottom. This is a sick island. Oh, they have like a little, little device. There's other wizards! Oh, it's kind of like a blimp with the fire. How, wait, how low does it go? Oh, they can actually leave, okay. Oh yeah, it is moving really slowly if they're able to do this kind of thing. Brother, tell me that's not Alabasta. Ain't no way. Wait, it kind of looks like Alabasta. Save this island. Oh wait, no, this does not look like, I don't think this is Alabasta. Oh, he's gonna save them. That's an interesting hat, sir. He's just charging them? 100 mil? Dang, dude, he drives a hard bargain. He's gonna be like, all right, peace. <laughs> They're dying. What kind of discount? No sense for business. So he just pushes a button and rain begins, huh? It's so apt that she's here. Like, it's just perfect. It's weather, weather inventions. Oh, he puts, like, storm clouds inside the bubbles. Oh, the weather rope! I don't think we've even learned this old man's name yet. It kind of reminds me of Khalifa. The soap bubbles. This is- it's more evidence as to the fact that Kuma knew exactly where he was sending each one. Like, he sent them there to, I guess, get stronger for a reason. There's no way this was, like, accidental that she went to this weather island where these guys have these crazy weather inventions. Just on accident. This would be reminding me of Alabasta, though. Celebrating for the rain. He's a nice old man. She already knew the science of weather was useful. Look at these, these little uh, umbrellas. <laughs> no, I think she'll stay. Oh, wow. Dude, this guy is so nice. Yeah, she can improve her craft. 
Use him as a mentor. Aww. <laughs> There's like, why did Chopper get sent to them where he got sent with like cavemen and birds? It's not, not fair. Oh no. No, old man! Imagine he just dies here. Oh, wait. <laughs> She's like, never mind. I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head out. I'm glad we're we're checking. I'm guessing we're gonna see everyone. But uh, the one I'm I think the one I'm most interested in is Frankie's. And if we're going in order, he would come next. I think. Well, I mean, he got the eye catcher. Yep. The, yep. No. One hundred percent. Mechanical Island, Baltimore. Birthplace of the genius, which is Vegapunk, right? Oh no, he's still proper. <laughs> oh no, he was funnier. <laughs> you put cola in him, in him, young boy. Oh, okay, they've ordered some. I think this island in general is what I'm most interested in because of the whole connection with Vegapunk. His little nightcap. Oh my gosh. This kid is so intrigued by him. Oh, snow? Who put him outside? Is this kid trying to like forcefully bring out his like wild side again? Oh my gosh, does everything have like modifications to it here? In close force of animal, like mechanical animal, what? Brother! Who put, did the little boy drag his bed out here as like a prank? It's like sanest YouTube prank? Are these all that like, that guy's tests? Oh my God, there's even a turtle. The surprise, yeah, this is his doing. Brother, no, this is not how you do it. <laughs> Have you eaten breakfast? It's not good for your mental health. Proper Frankie is so proper. You're their breakfast, Frankie. He's made tea for you all. Delicious. No! Oh. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. This is so stupid. Oh. They've been found. Is Frankie gonna have to save this child and his dog? The dog's taking a stand. The music, bro. I can't. Oh boy, at that. <laughs> Mr. Frank, ain't no way. I am not calling you that, Frankie. It's gonna pull it out of him. No, 100%. Forcefully. This kid's plan is gonna work. He just keeps fixing his hair. Maybe not. No, he does need cola. Like, 100%. Listen to what? <laughs> oh, wait. What's happening to the tea? It's carbonating! Is that even possible? Oh. He's back! Let's go! Look at the hair, the music! That's the Frankie I missed! Let's go! No, Mr. Frank here! I like how this kid missed the old Frank, even though he barely even knew him. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna turn back into regular tea! Oh, geek? Ugh! Oh my gosh. Wait, they're actually going. Yeah, he made Kuma. Oh, these are all creations from him? Oh my gosh. He left the island. Okay. So this is his birthplace. He's not here anymore. I mean, he could be here till still, to be honest, just hiding out. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Oh, I'm so excited. There could be so much lore in here. Oh no, a security system, no shot. What's here? Ain't no way! 
idea. Okay, so yeah, we are getting a check-in. Like I said, I, I had hoped we would with the straw hat soon because I miss them, man. It feels like it's been so long, but we have a, a sort of a game plan for Nami. Just wait on here until it gets back to Sabaody, but she's kind of out of the loop in terms of everyone being completely separated. So she might even be the one back first. Episode 454, let's go. <laughs> I would think so. Good old white beard. There's that third admiral again, bro. Just show him to me. Introduce me. Oh, no, it's definitely not possible. Wait, we're going to Sanji's? No way does it leave Frankie off on a cliffhanger. Oh, my gosh. And the fact that, yeah, this is Ivan's homeland. That is so funny, man. Ivan rules this place. <laughs> Even the sun is a, is a heart. Or the moon, whichever that is. Oh my gosh, wait, they're all so agile. Why? Because Ivan, like, rules here. Why trains them? Okay. He knows which direction to go. <laughs> Even the stars. I guess we're going to learn a little bit more about this place and what, what goes on. Is there a current ruler here? Some candies. That's what Ivan says. This is the current ruler? Oh. Kicks aren't too bad. Kamabaka. Oh no, what does that mean? Yeah, I guess that is the current ruler since Ivan's not here. Did they just chase him all day and all night? Oh, poor Sanji. The question is, what happens if they catch him? Oh, portrait of Ivan! Oh my gosh! What is going on? What is this Scooby Doo ass house? Looks like we're back in Thriller Bark! Oh, who's the ruler? I've never talked about who rules in. Oh, oh my. That's an interesting mask. You bastard! Karo. Karo Sama. Just stand in. <laughs> Queen Sanded, hey, that's what I said. Caroline, sub. I love you, Caroline. It's like, why did Sanji get sent here? Yep. No Ivan now. Let me get this straight. I get it, Sanji. Are they gonna let him leave? What? Uh, there is a trial to leave? How strong are they, though, is the thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Caroline's head is, like, just as, is, like, it's the same ratio as Ivan's head is. Oh, no. What are they having my boy wear? Oh, my God. You look good, Sanji. You look awesome, man. Why do I have a feeling he's gonna get smacked? Who's the strongest of them all? Oh, Caroline. It makes sense. The stand-in. New Kama Kenpo. I mean, maybe he was sitting here to get stronger. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm having a struggle putting my finger on it. Maybe he'll get over his whole fear of hitting women here, honestly. That would be like, that would be, that is his biggest weakness is women. No, I have a feeling Caroline's actually surprisingly strong in, in, in his perspective. Candy John. Brother. Does Caroline no shave? Oh, he don't stand a chance. Oh, the wink! Probably doesn't know Death Wink, though. He's what? No shot. Was Caroline looking down? He's embarrassed. <laughs> Maiden like modesty. Mm -hmm. uh. Wait, what was he measuring? <laughs> well, Caroline kind of terrifying. <laughs> he keeps hiding it. Deceiving yourself. 
Oh my gosh, it's blooming. No, please don't. Awakening of the Inner Maiden. Oh no. His blush! <laughs> Ain't no way. It's so embarrassing. What is happening, bro? Sanji is breaking boundaries. About to what? Oh my god, he's gonna be in the line with them. Oh my gosh! No! What happened to you, Sanji? Wait, I genuinely feel like this entire development is to work towards him not being able to attack women. Oh my gosh. Okay, who's next, I catcher? Who's next? My boy! My boy chop! Okay, okay, I'm ready. His place did not seem like it had anything for him, but I guess we'll see. Birdie Kingdom. Is that his hat? Oh, he's carrying fruit. I'm guessing for the birds. <laughs> There's no one to talk to, it seems. Yeah, I feel like Chopper got the, the short straw. There's cavemen. Like, what could there be for him here? I kind of understand Sanji's now. I understand Frankie's. I understand Nami's. What could possibly be here for him in terms of like medical stuff? That is a big baby. Oh, it's injured? Maybe befriending the birds is like the end goal here. Since he's also an animal and he can speak to them. <sighs> actually, though. Oh, he saved it. Wait, no, actually, that could be it. I don't see anything having to do with the cavemen. Oh. <laughs> Oh God, I miss all of them being together so much, man. Because Kuma knew that Chopper was an animal, obviously, and could communicate with them, most likely. Yeah, I think befriending the, the birds is his best bet. Poor little bird. Did he just roll it? That bird's like, I have no idea what a doctor is, man. And be able to fly. Dude, what a Chopper could fly on him. He's like, I could fly back to my friends. Oh, I see. It's starting to make sense. I was kind of on it pretty early, though. Oh, imagine him showing up on a bird. Oh, you little monster. You have to alpha this baby chick while it's still a baby chopper. Are the parents going to care that he's taking it under his wing? Oh, yeah. But what is there for him to like learn here or get stronger through? I guess treating the chick and like raising it. He's dreaming about reuniting with them. Uh, the chick's gone. Wait, imagine it already flew back to its parents or it's dead. It's like a doting parent. Is she running? No! No! He's both! Kind of. Not really. He's a reindeer. We're gonna try and cook it. He has to protect his child. Uh, oh, there it is. How did he run into it? Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I was half expecting for him to run into it just like dead, like caught up in the pieces. Run! Honestly, I feel like Chopper could rule these cavemen since he can speak English and he can transform into this buff, buff creature. This little chick is so cute. Push! Is he just rolling it? Oh no, it's actually running, okay. Chopper, just transform and smack them all! My goodness. These spears are oddly advanced. Fly! You have to! At least try! The chopper can definitely fight them off. Just transform, chop. <gasps> the birds! To the rescue! But you don't need to thank me. <laughs> He's doing the, like, little thing. No shot! Oh, no, it's just taking it. Chopper just getting done so dirty on this island, man. My goodness. Good landing. 10. My goodness. This is aerial warfare. The little baby chick. Nah, it's gonna grow up for sure. The chick's like, 
Oh, seven. I got you, Chop. Mm hmm. It's so adorable. So he said it's a baby, so it couldn't understand him. Maybe it's almost at that point. Yeah, how fast does it grow? You're gonna have to, because who knows how long it's gonna take Nami for the, the island to hover over it. And Sanji, if he even wants to leave his island. It really is a chaotic island. I mean, they're all kind of chaotic, but Chopper's is just tragic. Okay, and so we start checking in on all the straw hats, and I like how we're getting to a point where we're kind of, I guess, getting an idea of how everyone's doing and what they're all sort of working on. Because now it's starting to become more and more clear why Kuma sent each of them to where he sent them. Nami for weather, Frankie because it's sort of like a mechanical-based place, Sanji, like I said, I think it's a pretty good guess that it's to help him get over this entire not hitting women thing. But also, how would Kuma even know about that? And then Chopper, I guess, just a ride so hopefully next time we find out why robin's where she is and same for zoro and brooke oh yeah brooke's being worshipped like he's the devil oh yeah and usopp on the the plant island yeah i mean i guess they weren't all really clear before this in this episode or these two episodes really made a lot of things clear so i'm guessing the next two will make it even more clear but guys that has been it for one piece today if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a sub and i will catch you in the next one peace peace